Hey there! Ever felt like your Samsung monitor and your PC are on completely different wavelengths? Well, today, we're bridging that gap and getting your screen back to life. Stick around, because I've got some simple and effective fixes for you. Welcome to Conscious Guide. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more tech tips and tricks. Alright, let's dive into why your Samsung monitor might be giving you the cold shoulder and how to get them back on speaking terms. First things first, let's get the basics out of the way. Make sure all the cables are plugged in snugly. You'd be surprised how often a loose cable is the culprit. Give them a little wiggle and ensure they're firmly connected. Don't forget the power cable too, your monitor won't wake up without its morning coffee. 2. Set the right input source your monitor needs to know where to look. Use the monitor's built-in menu to select the correct input source, whether it's HDMI, DisplayPort, or something else. It's like giving it the right directions to your PC party. Sometimes, all your devices need is a little nap. Restart both your PC and the monitor. It's the tech equivalent of turning it off and on again often works wonders. If things are still dark, try using a different cable or plugging into a different port on your PC. Maybe the HDMI cable decided to take early retirement, or the port is just being fussy. Switching things up can help pinpoint the issue. Outdated graphics drivers can be a silent troublemaker. Head over to Device Manager, Expand Display Adapters, Right-click your graphics card and select Update Driver. A fresh driver can bring new life to your setup. 6. Adjust Display Settings. Press Windows key plus P and make sure Extend is selected. This will help you manage multiple displays if you're using more than one. Also, check the resolution settings in Display Settings to match your monitor's capabilities. If you're comfortable opening up your PC, Resetting the BIOS or CMOS can sometimes solve deeper issues. Remember to power off your PC and unplug it first. Remove the CMOS battery, wait a minute, then pop it back in. It's like giving your PC a mini spa day. Still no luck? Connect your monitor to another device to see if it's the monitor or the PC that's misbehaving. It's a quick way to narrow down the problem. And there you have it. With these steps, your Samsung monitor should be back in action, and you can get back to whatever awesome thing you were doing. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for more tech solutions, and drop a comment if you've got any questions or other tips. Thanks for watching Conscious Guide.